हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस सेशन आई एम डॉक्टर आशा थरंगे एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाफमन कोडिंग टेक्निक फॉर नॉन बाइनरी सिस्टम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशंस स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एनकोड द मैसेजेस यूजिंग हाफमन कोडिंग टेक्निक फॉर नॉन बाइनरी सिस्टम्स दीज आर द कंटेंट्स विल बी कवरिंग इन दिस सेशन नॉन बाइनरी सिस्टम इज अ सिस्टम वेर द नंबर ऑफ symbols used to code is greater than 2 that is m is greater than 2 for non binary systems the grouping is to be handled in a different way sometimes for the huffman coding technique let us see how let us see this by using one of the example in a communication system the source transmits eight different messages x1 to x8 with the probabilities given Considering m equal to 4, find the average code word by applying Huffman coding method and Shannon Fanny coding method. Now, from this, the given is 8 messages x1 to x8 with the respective probabilities and m is equal to 4. Let us solve this by first using Huffman coding method. The first step is to arrange the messages in the decreasing order of this probabilities. These are the given messages with their probabilities and after arranging this is the sequence that we get. Now the second step is to group the m messages, lower probability m messages and assign them the symbols used for coding. Now in this case m is equal to 4 so let us use the symbols 0, 1, 2 and 3. Now, the least four terms with lower probabilities are grouped and the symbols are assigned as shown. So the next step is to add the probabilities of these terms and place it as high as possible and rearrange them in the decreasing order again. So the group of these four terms comes to be 0.3 which is greater than the higher probability 0.2 here. So it is placed at the top position and all others are shifted further as shown. So these are the terms obtained after first reduction. Now if you see the number of terms after first reduction is still greater than 4. So we need to continue this process till we get just 4 terms or less than 4 terms in the last reduction. So again the 4 terms are grouped, symbols are assigned as shown. Now the sum of probabilities of these terms comes to be 0.7. As it is greater than 0.3 it is placed at the top position and then 0.3 is shifted next to it. Now you can see after the second reduction only two terms remains. No further reduction is required so the symbols are assigned to it. Now once the reduction procedure is over we need to now find out the code word for all the messages. So in order to obtain the code word the probabilities are traced from left to right and the symbols are traced from right to left on that path. So let us find the code word for x1. So tracing the path of probabilities, this is how it moves following the arrow. So this is the path traced for x1 from left to right. Now the symbols on the path from right to left is 0, 0 and no further symbols. So the code word for x1 is 00. Similarly, the code words for all messages are obtained. This table shows the code word and the length of each code for each message. Now, all the code words are of size 2. Therefore, the average length of the code word is 2 letters per message. Now, before moving ahead, Pause this video and 
recall. Among the two source coding techniques, Shannon Fano and Huffman coding technique, which one is more efficient? Yes, the answer is Huffman coding technique. Now let us solve the same problem by using Shannon Fano coding method. Now arrange the given messages again in the decreasing order of their probabilities. So this is the sequence that we obtain. In Shannon Fano coding method, the next step is to divide the probabilities into m equiprobable message subsets. Here m is equal to 4. So the first possible partition is as shown. Now as m is 4, let us use 4 symbols 0, 1, 2 and 3. 0 is assigned to the messages in the first subset. 1 is assigned to the second subset. 2 is assigned to the messages in the third subset and 3 is assigned to all the messages in the fourth subset. Further, subset 1 and 2 consist of only 1 messages or 1 probability, so no further partition is possible here. Considering this third subset, now it consists of 2 probabilities, so possible partition is only here. And again, we assign the symbols 0 and 1 as shown. In the last subset, it consists of 4 probabilities, so dividing it into 4 parts, this is the possible partition. And once we partition, we assign the symbols as shown. Now, the code words for all the messages is just obtained by tracing the symbols from left to right. Now, this table shows the code words obtained for all the messages using Shannon Fano coding method and the length of each code word. The average length of code word for each message is then calculated by using the formula L bar. Substituting the values, we get L bar is equal to 1.6 letters per message. Now, you can see here, by Huffman coding, the average length of code word comes to be 2 letters per message. And by using Shannon Fano coding method, the average length comes to be 1.6 letters per message message. Now if you see here Shannon Fano coding method is giving more efficient result whereas in general Huffman coding is a more efficient one. So what is the problem with this? Let us see. Now if you see this in Huffman coding the number of terms obtained in the last reduction is equal to 2. This is a problem. Now let us solve the same problem using this Huffman coding such that the number of terms appearing in the last reduction is equal to now 4 instead of 2. In order to do this, we need to first combine two terms in the first reduction. Let us solve this again by doing this way. Now, the messages are again arranged in the decreasing order of their probabilities. Now, let us first group the last two terms. Assigning the symbols, we now get its value sum of the two probabilities equal to 0.1 which is placed at the lower position after the second reduction in order to maintain the decreasing order of their probabilities. Now, after this first reduction, again, the last four terms are now combined and placed at a higher value as per their probabilities. Now the sum of these probabilities is 0 0.45 which is greater than 0 0.2 so it is placed at the top position and all other remaining probabilities are shifted below that. So now you can see at the last reduction we get four terms here. Finally, assigning the symbols to those four terms. Now, let us find the code word for this. Now, the code words obtained for x1 to x8 after the second Huffman coding 
and the length of each code word is shown in this table. Now let us find the average length of code word using this formula L bar and substituting the values now the average length of code word comes to be 1.55 letters per message. Now if you see this, this is better not just the previous Huffman coding but also better than the Shannon Fano coding method. Let us analyze why it has happened so. In the first Huffman coding only two terms remains in the last reduction whereas in the second Huffman coding we reduce it such that four terms remain in the last reduction. Due to this we see the length of code word for higher probability messages is greater compared to the length of code word for the higher probability messages compared to the second method. Even though the length of code word for the lower probability messages in the first method is lower than the length of code words for the lower probability messages in the second method, in spite of that we are getting efficient average code word length. This is because the weight of the higher probability messages is higher than the lower probability messages. Due to this, the average length of code word in the first Huffman coding is greater compared to the second Huffman coding method. Thus, we can see that in order to get an efficient average length of code word by using a Huffman coding, we need to code it in such a way that or we need to reduce it in such a way that the number of terms that is appearing in the last reduction is equal to m. This is the reference that is used. Thank you.